I require the law to be produced for the following. The finding of facts and conclusions of law, if you believe the answer is yes to any of the following. Number one, is there a law that states there is nowhere in Canada for a man or woman not fluent in legalese term of your legal society to move a claim or invoke their right by trial by jury? Number two, is there a law that states a man and woman have to belong or hire a member of legal society to move a claim? Is there a law that states if a man or woman provides justification and or excuses for the robbery of another man or woman's property that said robber is not required to verify in living voice in open court what moves them to rob said property and or have a lawyer testify on their behalf? And number four, is there a law that states uh, that... Uh, uh, that does not uh, that they do not have to provide their uh, their oath of office. Uh, the court clerk does not have to provide their oath of office. The holder of their hazard bond, security bond, or uh, policy number, and that they have the right to practice law and read any man or woman's claim to judge whether said woman or or man has the right to press their claim in a public venue designed for the use of of any man or woman requiring justice and the immediate release of their property. Uh, wow. the, yeah. No, that's what's funny is I, 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 I see some of my words, and, man, they, they ring out so good. She, used, <laughs> she, she, she did. She understood the word press meant. She, 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 did, she, did, uh, she, she did, used a lot of those words, and I hope she really understood what they meant. If not, boy, she sure got lucky. 